Just a quick reminder guys, these narrations are best enjoyed with headphones on. What is everyone, Spark Commander and Chief Editor of Disable Gear Reviews here. Welcome to the very first DGR Trivia. From here on out, certain reviews will have questions running in parallel with the reviews themselves. This can be done either alone or in a team, cooperatively or competitively. The subject of this is in fact a music round. And the subject of course is Street Fighter. This question has 10 points up for grabs. Nice. Now here's the question. This review has the theme of five individual characters from Third Strike. The question is quite simple. Identify which character these themes belong to. One point for every character currently identified. Now for the bonus point, identify the actual track name. Again, one point for every track name are currently identified. One last thing to note though, the round starts when the video review transition plays. Now with all of this aside, please enjoy the video. My toes, this time I will be the latest edition in Capcom highly successful fighting game series. Is this game ready for the next challenger, or will it be falling back to see select? Well, without further ado, let's find out. The Street Fighter series is hailed as the grandfather of fighting games. Its influence on the genre as the series progressed is undeniable. Each iteration of the series had innovation after innovation after innovation. For example, the criminally underrated Street Fighter 3 New Generation introduced the parry mechanic. Enter woman 37 reference here. Which completely negates attack damage by performing a currently timed movement input. The series' popularity doesn't seem to be losing momentum. This time last week, the sixth entry of the series was released. The story is set after the event of the Street Fighter 3 series. You create a character and take to the street to become the greatest fighter in the world. Fight sticks at the ready, guys. The Axis abilities course are as follows. The kick things off its ability given name. On upon starting the game, each character has only two color combinations. Although there are numerous color combinations and outfits to unlock, you can unlock these outfits by simply completing the game's world tour mode, again more on that in a minute, or simply grinding the game. Although a visual impairment will be maybe at a disadvantage during a mirror match, which is basically a match where both players pick the same character. Apart from that, a player with a visual impairment will be able to play this game with no issues. Next up, our abilities go to Sky High 11. This game has subtitles during cutscenes, i.e. during arcade slash star mode, and during the world tour mode. And uh, to be fair, all the dialogue between your characters and various other characters are text-based. So Capcom decided to return to their traditional arcade roots for that one. So the guys, nothing wrong with that. So a player with a hearing impairment should be able to play this game with absolutely no issues. Next up, Mobility, which again is a Sky High 11. As part of the course for a fighting game, button layouts can be fully customized. It's also this game has five custom control layouts. In a highly competitive environment, for example, a fighting game where a single frame input can bridge the gap between victory and defeat, this is a lifeline when taking players with mobility impairments into account. What makes this game even more accessible when taking mobility players into account is motor controls. Using motor controls has its setbacks. You are in fact sacrificing a single attack type, in this case heavy punch, and you are also taking a 20% attack nerf. However, the sacrifice is worth it. This is because it is replaced by a special move button. So say for example, using Ken and Ryu's trademark Hadouken move. Usually the input required to use this move is a quarter circle movement towards your opponent, the light punch, or the X button for the Xbox players. However, using motor control, the input required is a simple press of your special move button on the Y button for Xbox players. Yes, this system can be very easily abused to gain an easy win, but for a mobility impaired player, 
The battlefield is completely even. When a floor with the mobility impairment goes against a person who has full movement of both his hands or able body players, the mobility player and player should have be at a disadvantage because special moves require complex, sometimes impossible button inputs. This feature allowed the mobility impaired player to use the special moves easier and quicker. Last but certainly by no means least, gameplay is a sky high 11. Once again, Capcom shows its flair when it comes to the development of fighting games. As a matter of fact, the first fighting game I played was Turbo Street Fighter 2 for the PC. But in terms of gameplay, this is what a modern fighting game should play like. As I have said earlier on in the review, Modern controls make this game completely even when I go against some able-bodied player, for example the ambassador of DGR's fighting game community, CR Snake. Now, with now it all goes down to character choice, experience and strategy. The game itself is split into three sections. Battle Hub allows you to play casual matches against your friends or other players online in a more open environment. In the same vein, than lobbies and Guilty Gear Strive for a completely social experience. This is perfect for practicing characters that you aren't familiar with or perfecting the skills you already have with a certain character to prepare you for competitive matchmaking or professional tournaments. Fighting Ground is for a more traditional experience. In this mode, you can search for other players to play against in matchmaking both ranked and casual modes are available right out of the box. This mode also has the bulk standard story slash arcade mode and single match modes. The aforementioned world tour mode is where the vast majority of the game's single player content is. You create a character as you take to the streets as you battle your way to be the best fighter in the world. This mode has a lot of mechanics that you would normally expect from an RPG game. For example, using items, grinding your way through levels to level up your character, equipping special moves onto your character, and even changing your character's fighting style altogether. In summary, Street Fighter 6 is probably one of the best, most accessible fighting games I have ever played. The game has a lot of polish, with a lot of new mechanics to make the game fresh and new, and a highly congested market. So Capcom clearly learned from their mistakes as due to the disastrous launch of Street Fighter V. There are a few returning characters from previous titles, besides Ryu and Chun-Li already on the roster. Joining them are numerous new characters like Luke, Jamie and Kimberly. So if you're a fighting game enthusiast and is looking for a fighting game to play over the summer, I seriously cannot recommend this game enough to you. A serious contender for Game of the Year. And the overall score is 105%. See you guys in the next review. Spartan Commander 1998. Roll out Spartan Legion.